Beloved in God, I greet you in the matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm Reverend Paul Waswasembiro, and I come to you from Uganda Christian University. Welcome to this devotion of Online Church of Uganda. Our theme this morning, the message we want you to reflect on today is pleasing to the Lord. And it's drawn from Ephesians chapter 5. Let me read you, read it to you very quickly, verse 6 to verse 14. He says, Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore, do not become partners with them. For at one time you were darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. For the fruit of light is found in all that is good and right and true. And try to discern what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the fruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. For it is shameful even to speak of the things that they do in secret. But when anything is exposed by light, it becomes visible. For anything that becomes visible is light. Pleasing to the Lord. There are three things that stand out in our passage today, which I invite you to reflect on very seriously. Number one, we are reminded that there are things in the world around us which we must totally eliminate. The invitation is not to pause them, not to cover over them, but to deal with them thoroughly and seriously, to eliminate them. He mentions in verse 3 and 4, sexual immorality, impurity, covetousness, foolish talk, and crude or coarse joking. In our age, the problem of fornication and pornography has infiltrated the community of children of God. And there is a warning here that these things we must eliminate. Number two, he also brings out a message that we should be careful not to embrace teachings which numb our conscience with regard to sin. Teachings which numb our conscience with regard to sin. And there are teachings today which suggest that sin is no longer a problem because of what Jesus did on the cross. That Jesus took the place of a sinner, therefore sin is no longer a problem. We are one that if we want to please the Lord, we want to forsake all such teachings. And lastly, we are invited to walk as children of light. Walk as children of light of light and their characteristics which enable us to walk as children of the light that which is true that which is right are things we need to pursue that which is good that which is good that which is right and that which is true and as we walk through our day those are the things we should pursue remember that verse in first john chapter 1 and verse 7 but if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all evil. So friends, as you go through this day, walk in discernment. We are to expose acts of darkness, which calls for boldness. We must take our stand and not be compromised. And so, be different, be counterculture, and align yourself with God, and not with the world. That is how we live lives pleasing to the Lord. God bless you as you continue to seek Him.